Why, hello there, everyone. My name is Chuck Houston with the RV Adventure. We have a podcast. We're on Facebook and Instagram. The reason I'm making this video is because I actually got on YouTube to find a winterization video specific to the Vengeance. And I didn't see one anywhere. So this is a Vengeance 25V. This is our own personal travel trailer. And now it's the time of the year where I'm starting to think, I better start winterizing this. If we go out again, there's no problem. It doesn't cost that much to winterize it. So I ran into a couple problems. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. They're very, very minor. I like the Vengeance. It's very well made. Of course, here on the side, this is the front storage area. And we'll get another shot of this in a minute. But if you can see those white handles in the middle of that plastic container, those are your bypass valves. Right now you'll notice I got it turned so that it goes around the loop, the red loop. That's all you have to do on this travel trailer is turn those two handles. Now it is hidden behind a piece of plywood that I've taken out so I could do the work. That was the first thing. Let me take you inside. Okay, right into the bathroom with me. I thought I knew where the water pump was, but I did not. The water pump is that uh, cylinder right there with all the writing on it. And you have to get the antifreeze through the entire system. So you got to take this access door off. I had to have Colton come in here and turn it on. Well, I've, it didn't take me but just a few seconds to figure out it was underneath or behind that access door. So I opened it up. I saw that there was no way to get the antifreeze in the line. So that red tube, this is going to be tough to get for you. That red tube right there, that went straight into the water pump right here. So I figured out, well, I'm not going to be able to winterize it today whenever I was first looking at it. I'm going to have to order a part. So I did a little bit of research, and here's what I found out. You can order something, and I'll show it to you here in a minute. It's called a Camco winterization kit. I got it. I came in this morning. I put it on. It was so easy to do. I was afraid I'm going to be running to Lowe's. Five, six times to get this thing going. I'm no plumber. So anyway, you grab that filter right there, the strainer, which is right here. It's this. That's a strainer for the water coming into the pump. And you just turn it. I took the little, there's a black clamp on the red flexible pipe. You see there, the tube that you see, the you, you take that clamp loose right against the uh, strainer, and it just unscrewed right out of the pump. And then the Camco gives you that, that brass-looking piece. This is what the Camco piece is. And you screw a coupling on. Right there, that black coupling next to the pump. And then they give you t tape to put on to the fitting. You screw the bypass valve in. And then I just screwed the strainer right back onto it. And I was ready to go. So what does that do? That lets me screw this on. You unscrew the brass piece that's on the top. It just unscrews right off of there. Your clear tube screws right onto that. You turn that valve up here 
and you put the tube in your RV antifreeze. Make sure you use RV antifreeze because the other antifreeze will kill you. So this is what I actually ended up ordering. Camco converter winterizing kit. I think it was 12, 13, 14 bucks. And it went on like a dream. I'm telling you, I had that thing on in probably less than 10 minutes. There is the RV antifreeze, which was not expensive. And then once you get the tube put inside the bottle, you turn your water pump on, turn on your hot water, turn on your cold water, and you'll see pink that comes out. It's kind of hard to see right there. But if we go in here, you'll be able to see it probably better. Every fixture needs you need to do that. Every sink that you need to do that. The toilet, you need to do that. Don't forget your outside shower. And then the last thing I want to show you is, come on, let's take a let's take a walk under the bed. <laughs> right under here, you might be able to see those fittings a little bit better. You just turn those so that it goes toward that the red flexible, I think it might be PEX. But anyway, you turn both of those so that way your antifreeze doesn't go into your hot water heater that's right there. And then you'll be all set. I'm telling you, it's a well-built trailer. They've done a good job on the layout. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Vengeance 25V. If you want to see more about it, you certainly can. I would recommend you go to Haylet. Haylet RV. They have a great video showing you everything you need to know about this trailer. All right, guys. Have a great day. And join us on Instagram, Facebook, and look for our podcast, The RV Adventure. Have a great day.